All right, uh, Shalom. Before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakurash, the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, Walk Watim, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. All right, this is going to be another video, you know, through the Spirit, which is driving. I'm going to have these pictures up. Uh, and to the people that are unlearned, that don't know the truth, you know, the pictures relaying unto the topic is going to be completely irrelevant. But for us that know this truth, it's very relevant. And the fact that, you know, I was driving and happened to cross a double rainbow, all right, which, hey, that one video that went viral a couple years back, you know, that dude, he was out there and he seen <laughs> a double rainbow uh, and he started going ballistic, you know, he started going banana nuts, you know, crazy because it's a beautiful sight. But the way that I'm touching on it and, you know, I'm just... Hey, if you haven't read that scripture in Genesis, you know, go read it. You should know that, uh, Salakia. Consalak, uh, but yeah, those that, you know, are in the know when you read in Genesis, we understand that the rainbow is the sign between the Heavenly Father and all of creation that he wasn't going to destroy all living creatures through the flood again. All right, and I could read it, but I'm just skipping past it for the sake of the rest of this video. You know, go freshen yourself up on it. All right, but the point that I want to attack it from Hey, if the heavenly fault, if the rainbow that still exists now, after all these thousands of years, all right, despite whatever BS Esau Edom uses to explain it, you know, oh, it's it's the light refracting off the water, blah, blah, blah. Hey, look, one of the covenants that the heavenly father made th several thousand years ago, uh, the fact that it still exists now should show you that the heavenly father is not a God to be fucked around with. And these people that don't realize that we're living in the last days and times... <laughs> have no idea how bad things are about to get if that sign still exists all right that proves one two things uh that this prophecy is real and that the rest of the signs and the rest of the prophecies prophecies that have to come to pass are soon about to happen and that's about to be a cruel cruel fate for the people in this world that are not uh wise that are not hip all right shall we say all right uh, uh let me see and especially jake our our wicked people we're going to get, um, we got to get on them too. I'm going to get this out of Jeremiah. All right. Hey, a bird can look up in the, in the air and know when it's time to move, when the storm's coming. All right. All these people in the world, you have this Corona stuff going on. Hey man, the Akim out there in Los Angeles, they was doing their live stream Saturday. Hey, don't you know, you ain't going to never sit at a basketball court no more. You ain't going to never go to the, to, to, to the damn New York garden stadium. All right. Madison Square Garden, uh, 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 what's the one here in Detroit, the Fox Theater, that shit is through, we're at the end of this world, all right, Jeremiah 8, and I'm going to start at verse 7, it says, yeah, the stork, which is a bird in heaven, knoweth her appointed time, and the turtle and the crane and the swallow observe the time of their coming, but my people know not the judgment of the Lord, can you not see the judgments out here, can you not see all of, in this double rainbow, the pictures that I'm going to have up, this is an example of the coming judgments, all right? Because what else coincides with that? The wars and rumors of wars, uproars among the people, uh, uh, famines, pestilence, disease. We're literally experiencing those things, all right? Uh, uh, what is it? Earthquake in diverse places. So if, if, if all those things that were written aforetime, all right, one of the smaller ones, I'll say, being the rainbow, what the hell else? y'all think is about to come to this world, all right, and you people just don't, you just don't consider it, all right, a bird has better sense than you, a turtle has better sense than you, that's what this scripture is saying, all right, Jeremiah 8 and 8, how do you say we are wise and the law of the Lord is with us, lo, certainly in vain may he it, the pen of the scribes is in vain, hey, at our people again, you got our people that think that they know the scriptures, you know, that one, the, this new nigga, this Instagram nigga, Y'all y'all ain't gonna get no power. Other. Hey, these people are reading the Bible, you know, hey, our wicked people in the church hooping and hollering, and they can't see it. They think that the Lord is with them. They think that they know the scriptures. They have no idea what's coming. That nigga like that, absolutely no, it doesn't fathom, it doesn't click up in, in his head what actually is gonna get to going down in this world, all right? This is serious business all right let me get this hey the heavenly father's word uh 
Tzalaki, the Heavenly Father's word didn't go out in vain. And this world is about to realize it. All right. This is, uh, let me see. Let me see. Con, void was the word I was thinking of. Isaiah 55 and 11. Ooh. Perfect. This goes right uh, with it. Okay, verse 10. Isaiah 55 and 10. It says, For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and bringeth it, and and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So the same way that the Heavenly Father has created what we call the laws of physics. It, hey, when the water comes down, plants get nourished. All right, when plants grow up, we reap it. So we can be nourished a hey, the same way as one equals one. I mean, that one plus one equals two and that what comes after a is B is the guarantee that these prophecies are going to come. And the fact that that rainbow still sits up there in the sky every time after it rains. When these prophecies get to come, they're going to come in full blast and it's, it's, it's going to be without mixture. All right, I'm, I'm going to have to get that scripture. The people of this world have absolutely no effing idea what's about to come to this world absolutely no idea that what's about to come to this world all right verse 11 it says so shall my word be brought so shall my word that be that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto i sent it so the heavenly father promised that the, this world is going to suffer for all of its weakness and it's not going to go out void it will be accomplished all right as sure as shit as that rainbow comes up after it rains is as sure as America will fall. Uh, America uh, uh, will suffer, uh, or not just America, but that's the second death will come upon America, which is the nuclear missiles. We'll bathe this place and completely er eradicate it. All right, Isaiah 34. All right, no joke. Absolutely no joke. The Israelites, beginning with the elect and the one third, will be risen back up and become the leaders of this new world that we're about to step into in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. These prophecies are no joke and are about to come to pass. All right. Let me get uh, this real quick. Hey, this, the fury of the Lord is going to be poured out without mixture. All right. Revelation 14 and 10. Those that take the mark of the beast. Matter of fact, I'm going to have to start up. No mercy. Absolutely no mercy. All right. Revelation 14. And verse 8, it says, And there followed another angel, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. So it is a guarantee that Babylon will fall. Hey, the fact that they took us into slavery, that America made the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans slaves, was, hey, that, the guarantee of your downfall. He that toucheth the nation of Israel is, is as if you touched the apple of the heavenly father's eye right so you was guaranteed to go down just at that and now that here we are at the year 2020 look around in the air look at the mood of the people no one's happy no one's uh having fun all right everybody's scared keeping space between each other you know shit's falling to pieces people still getting their heads blew off here and there people still going missing this world is not in a good estate and it's not going to get better all right Verse 9, it says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, and this is what everything is going to culminate into, all right? The hour of temptation. Are you going to follow Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, or are you going to follow Esau Edom the devil? Verse 10, <clears throat> it says, The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High Power, which is poured out without mixture unto the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So the heavenly Father has promised you that if you take the mark of the beast, you will be at, you will suffer of that second death, that thermal nuclear uh, fire. All right, it's gonna it's gonna burn you down to the soul. All right, and it's no joke. The heavenly Father is not the man to be messed with. He's made all these promises, and one of the promises that he made of a time of old is the rainbow. So if that promise came to pass, all these other promises are going to come to pass. All right. And it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be serious out here in these streets. And these people, especially the wicked of our people, y'all going to realize it when it's too late. All right. Let me get this. Uh, and let me get this. Salakia. Uh, 
The Heavenly Father promised that the bodies is going to hit the floor. Promised that it's going to be blood in these streets. All right. Promised it's going to be suffering. People starving. All right. Heads off from their shoulders. This is the world that we're living in. This is absolutely no joke, especially here in America. This, these things have to come. And that's why we're seeing all these things happen. We're living in, uh, we're going through the birth pains of the end of this world. All right. The same way a woman goes through her contractions. All right. The walls get to widening, <laughs> widening. All right. It's the same way this world is, uh, hey, the kingdom of heaven is, is widening out this place. All right. And opening up uh, the way for righteousness and bringing the way of wickedness and the way of evil to its end. That's why this world is suffering all these things. Jeremiah 25 and 32. It says, thus say, if Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai of hosts, behold, evil shall go from nation to nation and a great whirlwind shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. A evil from country to country. All right. In other words, that's what we're experiencing. Did not this Corona shit develop in China? Now everybody locked down. Uh, hey, all these months later, the whole world is still feeling the, the resonation of this shit. All right. Why? Because evil is gone from nation to nation. The Lord is not playing with, the, with, with these people no more. Verse 33, and the slain of the Lord shall be at that day from one end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth. They shall not be lamented, neither gathered nor buried. They shall be dung upon the ground. All right. So once again, the heavenly father promised something. And this time it's going to be bodies laid around every inch of this effing planet. And that's we're about to see that. All right. We're about to see that. Hey, that one. That's why the one scripture exists in Ezekiel. The fact that when the kingdom of heaven is being established, the slaves of the Israelites are going to have to go forth, picking up the dead bodies and burying them. All right. And marking them. That's Ezekiel. I want to say 39. I could be wrong, but I want to say it's Ezekiel 39. Uh Shoot, it may be like 34, actually, but, you know, hey, these things are coming and, and it's and it's, it's no joke. All right. Hey, it's not going to uh, shoot. Let me get that. It's not going to slap. Let me get that. You know, hey, this is what came to mind when I seen that rainbow. The Heavenly Father make, made promises and he doesn't break them or he's not a man that he should lie. That rainbow, that's one of the old promises. And we have all these other promises that he made, these prophecies better yet said all right and they're gonna come to pass hey that the rainbow should put some fear in you when you see it that shows you the mighty power of the heavenly father he could just wash all this shit down instantly all right and this time he's not gonna do it with what with water but he's gonna do it with fire all right so let's get this now uh let me see let me see uh yep yeah. Ooh, perfect second uh peter and I might have to get second address. Yep, yep, I might have to get both of them. Second address, uh, second Peter 3 and 9. It says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So the Heavenly Father is not being lazy. He's making sure all of the flock receive this truth first. All right. And then what's going to happen? But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with the great noise and the elements shall melt with the fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Then it's going to pounce on that ass. All right. These prophecies that wasn't nobody looking for. It's going to come when everybody is bullshitting and not paying attention, especially you wicked Israelites. It's going to catch you when you when it's going to catch you and it's going to catch you slipping. All right. Like the nigga you got beef with. He going to come up on you and he going to come with that mean one. All right. And, and, and daggone, put your daggone eye out. Give you that, that, <laughs> that mean green one like the Hulk, all right? Hey, it says this world, the elements of this world are going to be melted away with heat. Complete, complete uh, destruction, you know? Complete chaos, disarray. That's what's coming to this world to, this time, all right? And it's no joke, all right? The Lord is done playing with this world, all right? That's why we're seeing these things happen before our eyes. All right, another one. This may be the last one, if nothing else comes to mind. All right. You know, just, just showing you, you know, these prophecies that are coming to pass are no joke. And it's, it's not a joke. It is going to happen. That's why this world is going in this chaotic form. If you're a person, you never, you don't know anything about the Israelites. The reason why this world is so crazy, why this world is going through these crazy changes is because we're at the end of this world. 
Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is at the rulership of this world. And his time of rulership is coming to its end. And for us, the Hebrew Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and Israelites, foreigners scattered abroad, for us to come to the rulership as it's been promised, they have to fall hard. And we're going to rise up even harder. That's why these things are going on. All right. Second Edges 16 and 37. It says, Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son with two or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. So the same way that a woman goes through her suffering before a child is born is the same way this world is going through its suffering before the elect receive salvation. And Yahweh Shai makes his grand return. All right. That's why we're seeing all these things. All right. Hey, the prophecies is the contractions. This prophecy popping off here, Mark of the Beast, letting you know we're closer. Uh, this country saying it's going to war, letting you know we're closer. Uh, this economy crashing, letting you know we're closer. Uh, 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 this person over here just got killed, letting you know we're closer to the end of this world. It says it shall not slack a moment. Verse 39. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrows shall come upon it on every side. All right. Damn Skippy. Sorrows on every stride, on every side. That's what is coming to this world. And the only thing that explains all of this is the Holy Bible. That's the blueprint and the instructions for all the things that's going on in the world. So if you were smart, you pick it up. All right. And start praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Matter of fact, I got one more as a matter of fact. Kind of right here. Perfect. Isaiah. Uh, let me see. Isaiah. Yep, ooh, yep, Isaiah 48, and we're going to start, let me see where I need to start up at. Okay, Con, Isaiah 48 and 3, it says, I have declared the former things from the beginning, and they went forth out of my mouth, and I showed them, I did them suddenly, and they came to pass. Hey, so all these scriptures, you know, literally the word of the Heavenly Father to us, the Israelites, he said them before it physically happened, and it came to physically happen. So that, hey, all the many different things that's written from Genesis to Revelation are going to happen. And right? it's gonna be it's gonna be deadly serious. All right. This this truth is not a joke. Like existence, being alive, your life is not a fucking joke. And these people are gonna realize it when it's too daggone late. Con another one. Okay, here it is. Now this would be the last one. This is the one I really wanted. Isaiah 46 and 9. It says, remember the former things of old. It says, for I am the most high power and there is none else. I am the most high power and, then is, and there is none like me. Hey, the fact that the rainbow exists shows the Heavenly Father's mighty power, which is the whole point of this video. That rainbow put me in mind of all the prophecies coming to pass. The fact that, hey, the Heavenly Father, hey, through his, you know, he had Yahweh shine the elect, create everything. Hey, stay, literally, what's, hey, what's the first, let's go to Genesis real quick. What's the first couple of words you see? In, in uh, Genesis chapter 1, verse 3, it says, And the Most High Power said, Let there be light. And there was light. Hey, the power that we deal with ain't no joke. Our ability to see things on this spectrum and in the spectrum that we cannot see all came into existence just because the Heavenly Father willed it. That ain't no, that ain't no man to be played with. That's not the man to be played with. And these people is about to find out in the hardest fashion, especially the wicked of our people, and specifically the elites, the leaders of Esau, Edom. This shit ain't no joke. That's who we're dealing with. Verse 10, it says, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done. Whoa, so in the past, he, the Heavenly Father has prophesied things that haven't even happened yet, which we're living in right now, which are about to come. It says, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. Yup. hey, and that's the prophecies that the remaining prophecies that we're going through. These are words that were said several thousand years ago. All right. So it's going to come to pass and it's going to come to pass with a fucking prejudice upon non-believers, upon infidels. All right. You know, so just a real quick video. You know, I seen that site. I'm going to have these pictures up, you know, throughout the video. This ain't no joke. What we're dealing with, what we're about to be dealing with. This ain't not, this, you know, this is no joke, you know, deadly serious. All right, so with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechach Horash, to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim. Walk, walk them, learning, teaching, truth, and sincerity.
I will say Shalom.